Kiwi, Dorio, and Pilo. Wait, Kiwi, Dorio, and what? What are these names? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are on episode three for Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and it is called Smooth Criminal. <laughs> I've been actually enjoying this show a lot, mainly because we're getting like a new perspective in the, the cyberpunk universe, because I, I genuinely love the game, and I know a lot of people had some gripes with it when it first came out, but it's, it's a really good universe, you know? And uh, we met Lucy now, so I wonder how this is gonna play out, because David is now in trouble again. I don't know if he's gonna get his head blasted off, or something good will happen, him because he has a lot of bad luck. Should just rip the damn thing out myself. Please don't get blood all over my room. Right? Damn, Stay Lucy. out of this. This happens so much in Night City where you can't really trust anyone. I I'm really shocked more so with Lucy because she shared something so personal with David. That's why I'm confused. Like, why would she go do that if she's going to use him anyway? You doing parading around in my chrome? Rats. Oh, interesting. So that belongs to this crew, but the one that took it was like a cop, was it not? Supplier. Gloria Martinez. That ring a bell? Oh well, yeah, she's my mom. What? The supplier was the mother? I just thought she took it because she was curious about it. Maybe that's who was calling her too before she died. Remember that somebody called her? Wow, I did not expect the mom to be involved. She died. Condolences, kid. That's tough. Well, you know, at least they're like giving condolences. Back off. He didn't know what he was doing. I like that lady in the back. Seems like she's reasonable. Let me keep the Sandy. Can't pay you back just now, but I'll work it off. Oh. Interesting that David's willing to, like, work with them. Nothing up my sleeve. See? Uh, that makes nine today. But he's still bleeding. That's the thing, right? Because he's not supposed to be doing it that much using the tech or it will, like, fry his ass and his brain. And he's still bleeding, clearly. So I don't know if this is, like, something that David thinks he's invincible from. I feel like this is slowly killing him. He just doesn't know it. Okay, kid. You get one chance. Could have said something. Like what? It's not like I planned this from the start. It just kind of stings because like you can't trust no one. Proves how alone David it is. Remember the mom kept talking. I don't want my son to be like this. I want you to work in a big corporation, big company. People respect you. Oh, the principal. The Arasaka Corporation has awarded you a scholarship. I bet you it's just those people who really want him to, you know, take the tech and whatever. It's Kiwi, Dorio, and Pilo. Wait, Kiwi, Dorio, and what? What are these names? <laughs> Say hello to Arasaka Corp driver. We're gonna swipe the nav data from the limo he rolls around in. This is David's shot, right? You nab the key. Hold on. His master's calling. I don't think it's that Jeez. simple. It is not copied yet. Oh no! <laughs> Car, we've been in one of those in Cyberpunk 2077. We're blown. Target's coming in hot. Oh shit! <laughs> Won't open. Uh -oh. Security's back online. Uh -oh. Time's up. Ah! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn, David! Tiger claws? Shit! Traffic! I don't know if I like that Lucy's not helping him, but also like teasing him at the same time. But I guess she's doing it also to push David because she sees so much potential in him. I mean, she said that in the last episode, right? So. What's happening now? Oh! He's getting triggered! What? Damn! I would throw up. If I were, were riding with David, I would throw up. Oh my god, they followed us. Ooh. Ooh. He's got mantis claws! Yeah! <laughs> Damn, he's a big son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Yo, I hope we become friends because this guy is so cool. So we cool now? Sure, welcome to the crew. Aw, yay! Ain't no one in this world you can trust more than yourself. That's fact. See, I think because David is so quick to like trust people. I feel like he's quick to trust people who are in a similar situation as him. I guess that's why he let his guard down with Lucy, right? Because they shared that moment together and uh, that's what his downfall is. So even though he does have a, like friends now, he's part of this crew, doesn't exactly mean that you can really trust them. You don't know them that well at the same time. I don't know if David will understand that because he's so young. Start using us as your crutch. You're good as dead. <laughs> that's kind of true. He has to find his own way, basically. 
immunoblockers. Oh, wow. Here's your cut. Everybody gets a fair shake. That's actually nice. Now, I have a question about the immunoblockers because if David keeps pushing himself to the point where he fries his brain, is the blockers going to do anything in reality? Because he, he said that's a month's supply. You know what I mean? Like, is that going to help anything or just going to keep destroying David's body? Then look into upping your cyberware. Damn, he's gonna have to upgrade himself too with the work he's gonna do. I have a question for you guys. I asked this during my Let's Play of Cyberpunk 2077, but would you guys get yourself some cybernetics if it was possible? For me, I I think the only thing I would change is my eyes because I have really bad eyesight anyway. That's the one thing I would want to upgrade is just like have better eyes. Oh, hello? Oh, hello, who's this? Why does he have three eyes? I believe I was clear when I requested only the navigation data. Yo, is that Giancarlo Desposito? What I asked for above all else was your discretion. He's in this? Which puts us back at square one and Tanaka on high alert. Whoa, wait a second. Tanaka, that's the, the bully's dad. Is that who we're getting the data from? You will do as you're told. That is how our business is done. I, I feel like it doesn't matter what character Giancarlo Esposito plays in. He's so intimidating. You only hear his voice. You're not exactly seeing him, but his voice is so intimidating. Oh, the principal. Tell that prick I'll be <laughs> but I'm, You can all kiss my ass. <laughs> I think I would do the same thing because the way that they treated him, right? They always treated him like a second class citizen, made fun of his mother because she doesn't have a good job and the fact that they're poor too. What do you expect him to do? Just take the beatings from the bullies? I never understood that. Schools that like punish kids who fight back against their bullies, like why would you do that when they're, they're standing up for themselves from getting hurt? Why did you do that to the bully? Because he's the one beating the kid. Okay guys, that's the end of this episode. Episode three for your edge runners. The only only thing I'm really shocked about is the mom. The fact that she was the one selling this and it kind of makes sense if she's a first responder she would get first pick at all the parts that are there and she would would sell it off you know she has a son to take care of they're poor they don't have a lot of money it kind of makes so much sense it, it makes me wonder about like what else david's life could be a lie about you know what i mean because i feel like his, his his reality is a lie and that's kind of like what main was trying to get him at like you can't be trusting anyone it doesn't matter just trust yourself so now i wonder how this is gonna go now that we met um Giancarlo Esposito. I didn't know he was in this show. That's so cool. They're looking for Tanaka, which is the bully's dad. So I, 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 this is all gonna come together. So I'm wondering how it's gonna go. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments and be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe and hit the bell button because I will be uploading more on this channel. I know I've been lacking a lot and I'm very sorry, but I'm going to be uploading at least every week and I will try to. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.